Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you how you can create glowing objects in 3D Studio Max. So let me just show you the uh, kind of output that you're going to arrive at. So maybe this or so and this is the output uh, that you're going to arrive at so let me just uh, start off creating it alright so to start off let me create a sphere so I'll just give a dimension for this say 25 and segments 5 and I'll just disable the smooth and I'll uh, zoom it alright so you get a diamond shaped uh, object here and and the rest of our work is uh, going to be on this so the next step that you need to do is you need to open up the material editor so either you can press the M or else uh, you can go over here to the material editor and in the material editor you have to be in the slate material editor so this is what uh, is uh, you know enabled over here in this case Another thing that you need to uh, note is that uh, you should be in the uh, in the common tab. Make sure that you're in the default scan line renderer, and uh, come back to the material editor. And uh, under the normal materials, materials, just drag the standard and place it over here. So it's pretty simple. Any layman can uh, do this if you're really following my tutorial. So double click over here and you get the uh, basic parameters and in the ambient uh, just give the color of the material which you want. So I'll just go for a green color and uh, just apply that material using this particular knob here, drag and drop it right here. So you're done with the first part of our uh, you know, creation. So once you're done with that the second thing that you need to make sure is that you need to change the uh, what do you call the uh, material ID to uh, say whatever ID which you want to put so let me just put the material ID as 7 so this number doesn't really have to do anything once you put this number over here you need to put the same kind of number uh, on another uh, options window so just remember whatever number you're putting so just put 7 and uh, after that you can close this here and go to the rendering go to the effects and uh, in the environment and effects dialog box go to the effects and uh, click on add so you're going to create this uh, uh, what do you call the glowing effect using the lens effect and another uh, way you can uh, glow is by using the metal ray which I'm going to explain in my uh, coming up tutorials so use the lens effect and click on OK and you get the uh, list of uh, different lens effect library over here so select the glow and uh, click over here so that the glow appears on the right side so on the right side whatever is listed is going to be the effects which is going to be acti active in your uh, object so just click over here and uh, you get the list so go to the options and uh, check the material ID and uh, uh, once you check the material ID change this uh, material ID to the ID which you have selected previously so if you got a doubt just click on uh, material and see the material ID is 7 so just press 7 select the 7 here and come to the parameters and uh, uh, give the size as say 0.1 or something and give some intensity so I'm going to explain you a couple of uh, other tools over here so just uh, give this one and uh, just give a render and see what happens so you get a glow over here which is uh, really not the output which we are looking for so you don't really have to worry for that so come to the material editor once again and click on the wire and two sided and uh, do the rendering once again so you get the uh, output here but uh, it's really not uh, the output which we are looking for so we have couple of uh, other options which you can tweak and uh, make our output more better 
so <clears throat> let's see that so in the radial color uh, whatever color you're putting is the color in which uh, the uh, object is going to get eliminated as our uh, object color is uh, green I'm going to put a blue color over here so I'll click OK and let me just uh, render that once again and see the output so you get a complete blue render now I mean a blue glow now so we can really uh, uh, you know uh, you know we can really uh, work with uh, the blue and the green so we can mix the color by just putting a 50 or something and just give the render and see that uh, you get a uh, you know mixing of uh, green and a blue so it looks uh, pretty good and if you really want uh, the uh, render I mean the glow to be completely the object color just give 100 and uh, see the render I mean the glow color is going to be completely the source object uh, material color so uh, to make our render look more good I'll just go for 50 and give it the render so uh, we got uh, you know pretty good output so you can still increase the intensity and uh, you can really you know decrease the intensity or whatever so uh, this is uh, so much uh, so let's just uh, see some more things in this so in the object uh, to make our object look more good let me just uh, put the lattice modifier and just uh, I'll just go for say 2 or 2 is more so I'll just go for 2 and uh, let's just see the render so it just uh, looks pretty good and we can uh, as you can see over here the environment and uh, effects the options over here are really preframable so you can really keyframe whatever is uh, available over here so I'll just reduce the intensity to say 0 and I'll uh, put the so use the auto key option and uh, just come somewhere over here and just increase the intensity to say 100 and uh, set the key and off the auto key so this is really like uh, you know you can set it as off and on so if you come over here and if you just uh, press the render so this is off condition and uh, once you move right here render and this is the on condition so uh, the keyframing part is not so important so if you're able to do this much uh, this is pretty good this is good to go so I hope this tutorial uh, is going to be helpful for you and for your projects uh, say when you're doing some kind of uh, uh, glow or illumination between your lights or something uh, and thank you so much for watching and let me know if you're getting doubts and uh, if you uh, need any clarifications on this tutorial and if you got any uh, suggestions uh, for any kind of tutorials or if you require any tutorials please ask me and, and uh, I'll uh, do my level best to provide you whatever I can thank you so much for watching